Hello students, let's do an exercise in numbers in the Indian and international systems. So we are doing exercise 3. This is on page number 26. Question 1. Write the following numerals using the Indian system or the international system as required in words. So we're going to write in words using the Indian system or the international system as the question says. So let's begin. First one, we have the Indian system. Now, how do we know it's the Indian system? When you look at the commas, you can make out the Indian system. You will have the first three places and then it is after every two places that you have the commas. This is how it is in the Indian system. Now, if you have to read this or if you have to write this in words, we have to know the places and the periods. So let's go through the places. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousand, ten thousand, lakh. So ones, tens and hundreds are in the ones period. Thousands, ten thousands are in the thousands period and the lakh. So we have three periods here. The ones period, the thousands period and the lakhs period. Now we can read 4,35,342. 4,35,342. So let's write that in words. 4,35,342. Question 2. Again, let's see whether this is the Indian system or the international system. We have one, two, three digits and then we have a comma and then after every two digits, we have a comma. Two digits and then there is a comma. So when you have it like this, this is the Indian system. Now what are the places? Ones, tens, hundreds. Thousands, ten thousands. Lakh, ten lakh. So let's write the period above this. So ones, tens, hundreds will be in the ones period. Thousands, ten thousands will be in the thousands period. Lakh, 10 lakh will be in the lakh period. So now we can read it. 36 lakh 71,430. So let's write that. 36 lakh 71,430. Next one. The third one here. Again, let's see if it's the Indian system. We have 1, 2, 3, comma, and then 1, 2, comma, 1, 2, comma. So this is the Indian system where we have commas after two digits. So now what are the places? Ones, tens, hundreds, thousand, ten thousand, lakh, ten lakh and this is crore. So now let's put them in the period. So we have ones, tens and hundreds here in the ones period, thousands, ten thousands in the thousands period, lakh, ten lakh in the lakhs period, and 4 is in the crores period. So now let's read it. 4 crore 28 lakh 30,000 4. So that is 4 crore 28 lakh 30,000 4. Next one. Which system is this? We have 1, 2, 3, comma. Again 1, 2, 3, comma. And then 1, 2. Now whenever you have it this way. Commas after every three digits, that is the international system. And what are the places in the international system? Ones, tens, hundreds, thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand, million, ten million. Now let's write the period about that. So this will be ones, tens, hundreds is the ones period. Thousand, ten thousand and hundred thousand is in the thousands period. Million, ten million is in the millions period. So how do we read it? 75 million. Now this is 132, isn't it? So 132,684. So let's write that. 75 million, 132,684. Now here again we have 1, 2, 3, comma, 1, Two, three, no other comma. So this is the international system. Commas after every three digits. What are the places? Ones, tens, hundreds, thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand. So which is a period? 
The period here is ones, tens, hundreds is in the ones period. Thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands is in the thousands period. So now let's read it. 815,906. So let's write that. 815,906. Next one. Again, we have 1, 2, 3, comma, 1, 2, 3, comma. So this is the international system. What are the places? Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, million. So now let's write that. So ones, tens, hundreds will come in the ones period. Thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand will come in the thousands period. And this will be in the millions period. So let's read it now. Five million four hundred and twenty thousand seven hundred. So let's write that. 5,420,700. So this is how we write in the Indian or the international systems. Question 2. Write the following numbers, placing the commas according to the Indian system. So we have the first number here. Now we have all the digits here now. We are going to place commas according to the Indian system. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to rewrite this number here. So let's write that. So we have 8, 3, 5, 6, 2 and 9. Now we're going to place commas according to the Indian system. So we start from the ones place. We say ones, tens, hundreds. And then we need to place a comma. Thousand, ten thousand. And then we need to place a comma. So let's do that. Ones, tens, hundreds thousands, ten thousands. So we're placing commas according to the period. So let me just write that here only for the first one. So this is the ones period, then the thousands period and the lakhs period. So after each period there is a comma. As you can see, after the lakhs period there is a comma, after the thousands period there is a comma. So let's do the next one. So here again we have all these numbers here. So let's rewrite that again. Three, five, 6, 4, 0, 2, 5 and 4. Now let's read it first. 1s, 10s, 100s and then you put a comma. 1000s, 10,000s, comma, lakh, 10 lakh, comma and then we have crore. So let's do that now. So 1s, 10s, 100s, comma, 1000s, 10,000s, comma, lakh, 10 lakh, comma. So here again, this is the 1s period, this is the 1000s period, this is the lakhs period and this is the crores period. So after every period, there is a comma. Crore is a comma. After the lakh period, there is a comma. After the thousands period, there is a comma. Next one. So let's write down the third one. 2, 8, 2, 6, 0, 4, 0. So now let's read the places. Ones, tens, hundreds. Thousands, ten thousands. Lakh. 10 lakh. So, comma after each period. So, ones, tens, hundreds, comma, thousands, ten thousands, comma, and then you have the lakh, 10 lakh. So, what are the periods? Ones period, the thousands period, and the lakhs period. So, after each period, there is a comma. After the lakhs, comma, after the thousands, there is a comma. Next one. Write the following numbers, placing the commas according to the international system. So we have the first one. This time we are going to write in the international system. So 6, 5, 0, 9, 8, 2 and 0. Now international system, how do we read? 1s, 10s, 100s. That's one period. 1000s, 10,000s, 100,000s. So this is the next period. And then we have million. So after each period we put a comma. So here we have 1s, 10s, 100s, comma. Thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, comma. So what are the periods here? This is the ones period. This whole thing, this whole thing is the thousands period, and this is the millions period. So if you read, how do you read? Six million five hundred and nine thousand eight hundred and twenty. This is the next one. It's a long number, isn't it? Big number. So let's write it down. Four, two, eight. 1, 4, 0, 5, 8, 
4. Now let's read the places of the international system. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, million, ten million, hundred million. Okay, so let's place our commas. Ones, tens, hundreds, comma, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, comma. So after every three digits, we place commas. So we have uh, the period here. We have the ones period, then we have the thousands period, and then we have the millions period. So let's read it. 428 million and we have put a comma after that period 140,000 comma 584 next one let's write down this 6 3 5 6 0 9 8 1 now let's read it again ones tens hundreds thousands ten thousands hundred thousand million 10 million. So now let's place our commas. So we have a comma here, then the three digits comma. Now what are our places? This is the one speeded, then we have the thousand speeded, and then we have the million speeded. So how do we read this? 63 million, 561. Question 4. Fill in the blanks as indicated. 4,67,306 is the question given. Now, what should we do? We should first write it in the Indian numeral form, that is in figures. So, let's write that 4 lakh, that means that's one period that's over, so we can put a comma. Then we have 67,000, so 67,000, comma, 306, 306. So, 4,67,306. Next, we have to write it in the international numeral form. So, for that, first write down all these digits as it is without the commas. So, we have written it all down. Now, let's read the places of the international system. Ones, tens, hundreds. That's one period. Thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand. Okay. So, now let's place the commas. Ones, tens, hundreds, comma. Now, this is the ones period. This is the thousands period. So, let's read this. 467,306. So now we have to write it in the international numeration that means in words. So what is it? 467,306. 467,306. So we have it in words also. Next one. 13,45 is given to us. What should we do? We should first write it in the Indian numeral form. So let's do that. 13 lakh. So that's one period that's over. 13 lakh is over. What is missing? We don't have the thousands period. Okay, so in that place, we're going to put two zeros. And a hundred is also missing. So one more zero and 45. So now we have 13 lakh 45. Now the next thing we have to do is write it in the international numeral form. So, we're going to write the same digits without commas. So, 1, 3, 0, 0, 0, 4, 5. Now, we're going to read the places of the international system. 1s, 10s, 100s, 1000s, 10,000s, 100,000s, 1 million. Okay. So, now we're going to place the commas. 1s, 10s, 100s, 1000, 10,000, 100,000. So, this is the 1s period. This is the thousands period and this is the millions period. So let's read it. 1,300,045. Now we are going to write it in the international numeration that means in words. So let's write that. 1,300,045. So we've written that 1,300,045. Question 5. Fill in the blanks. 604,000, We have to write in the international numeral form. So let's write that. So first one is 604,000. So 604, let's write. 1,000 means one period is over. So a comma there. Then 847. 847. So we've got that. What is the next thing? We have to write in the Indian numeral form. So, we're going to write this number without the commas. 
the 8, 4, 7. Now let's read the places according to the Indian system. Ones, tens, hundreds. Thousands, ten thousands. Lakh. So let's put, place the commas first. Ones, tens, hundreds, comma. Thousands, ten thousands, comma. So what are the periods here? This is the ones period. This is the thousands period. And this is the lakhs period. So let's read it. Six lakh four thousand eight hundred forty seven. The next thing is we have to write an Indian numeration. That means in words. So let's write it. Six lakh four thousand eight hundred forty seven. So we have written this in words. Let's go to the next one. Two million three hundred ten thousand one hundred four. We have to first write it in the international numeral form. So 2 million. So let's write that. 2 million comma. Then we have 310,000. So 310. 3, 1, 0. Then we have 104. 104. So this is our number in the international numeral form. Now if we have to write it in the Indian numeral form, write down the digits. 2, 3, 1, 0, 1, 0, 4. Now let's read it in the Indian system. 1, tens, hundreds. Thousands, ten thousands. Lakh, ten lakh. So let's place our commas accordingly. 1, tens, hundreds, comma. Thousands, ten thousands, comma. Lakh, ten lakh. So this is the ones period. This is the thousands period. And this is the lakhs period. So let's read it. 23 lakh. 10,104. Now the next thing is we should write it in the Indian numeration. That means write it in words according to the Indian system. So we have 23 lakh 10,104. 23 lakh 10,104. So this is how we write in the Indian numeration. With this children we come to the end of this exercise. Thank you children.